Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, night. just Bye. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jump. You're not awesome. listening to anything I say. So I'm cutting that. Are you? Yeah. What? Please. Yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh, shit. Ooh. Too Ouch. much sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was Two peas in a pod, these ones. I'll show you the battle oh, oh, was so high back. last night. You Sean Jelly? No way. You, you He's a big boy now. Knives, Better to get out okay. of his way. Smart. Now, if you get too clingy, people run away. I know what I'm talking hey, about. Who's the night master here? Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for shooting in that email? So, Wrong. how do you feel? You went back for the Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up Kid here? With us, Misfits. I actually feel... ...free. It's been a long time. Thanks to you. I hope so. Ben and me had a bet how long you would last. Okay. don't hurt me. I lost. Thanks. I'm glad you did. You can't get rid of me yet. Hey! I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there! I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? I told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. Bigfoot. Think about it. Big Joe, Bigfoot. Whoa, <laughs> you might be on something. They both smell. Stinky, Big Joe. <laughs> Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, mic down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Hey, come on. That's not cool. Uh, are you really shit talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. Hey, you're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just wanted to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro, that guy would have beat you down.
Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way, right? Uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just. You don't get paid to be late. Next time you won't be. <laughs> Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. What kind of shit? Jesus. What is this, an interrogation? Oh, uh, no. I'm sorry. Okay, time's up. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it. All right, we good? Eh, yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told them they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. Shh. Meryl almost kicked us out because you're a big mouth. What part of Lilo don't you get? You shouldn't even be here. Sure. I bet you wish I wasn't here. Oh, stop. I can tell. You know exactly what I meant. Oh, I feel you, Daniel. Sometimes I get stir crazy in here, too. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just uh. pick a bud and get to it. Shit. I hate these scissors. Oh, this is nothing. <laughs> Watch your fingers, Sean. 
Okay, sweetie. It's okay. You're doing fine. Just slow down if you need to. I know. I will. Thanks, John. I should clean my scissors. They're a mess. <sighs> My ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay, just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. Daniel, you still have to learn stuff. I have to go to school. Yep, you fight like brothers. So cute. <sighs> Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. <clears throat> what? What? What's wrong with my hair? Yeah. Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess, yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. real though okay. if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere cassidy we get it Ugh. over and over hey come on you don't want to be here give me a break i can't so what so i'm allowed to dream a little you won't get hurt <laughs> promise what about louisiana mm. must be so sweet this time of year jesus okay man Ugh. yeah I'd love to visit New Orleans. Yep. Yeah. Check out the voodoo okay. shops and the blues band. <laughs> that would be cool. No, bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies <sighs> work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. Cool, let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. Oh, this oh, is Joe, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit. It's always something. Damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa, down. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please, I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh huh. Going too fast. Not even. You're always take your time, dude. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah wah. Get off my crack, Ugh. Hannah. We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California Gotta to be live more on a focused. fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop! You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. How's it going? Same as always. They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go! <sighs> Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus, or off the bus. Hey, everybody chill. Let's not get- Sean, step back. <clears throat> this is our business. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. 
but we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Joseph. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy Just week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. You gotta be careful with those scissors. They're sharp as fuck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. <laughs> Part of the fun. They ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? Actually, kind of fun. Kaz and Hannah cracked me up. They're like sisters. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. Having Kaz around is like a TV show. She can't sit on her ass for more than an hour. Yeah, always been this way. Like these sharks that die if they stop moving, you know? I was the same at school. So glad we're out here now. Uh-huh. No wonder she digs you. So do I. You're a good fit for the family. You <laughs> totally hooked us up. A job, cash, friends, safety. John, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? I swear, he acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. Uh, he's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> yeah. My brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of... Mm, Messed up. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah. He'd steal, strip, and sell them. And my brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got busted. <laughs> Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That sucks. Uh, what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling. Checking out new things. Yeah, never gets old. <laughs> well... 
going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. So fucking far. Hey, hey it is. But you have time and a strong, uh, damn it, uh, will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. It will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help. Okay, got it. I like how Cassidy is in her own world when she's playing music. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks? <laughs> that may be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back. Please, Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. <sighs> Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> You're good. Wow, <laughs> I look happy, like I belong here. <laughs> I love how you see me, Sean. I think I look cooler as a sketch. Really? You think it's okay? <laughs> no, I'm just being nice. If it was bad, you would know. I don't lie. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? <laughs> I don't know, I just, get inspired by the things I see and do. And uh, being around people like you helped a lot. So I'm um, like your muse. Sweet. <laughs> well, uh, you're a great model. Yeah. Oh, don't make me blush. We all learn from each other, right? That's why I love my life right now. Finally. <laughs> yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. What do you miss about your old life? Anything? Besides some friends? Nothing. Well, my own bathroom. <laughs> Out here, you see that you don't need all that bullshit they sell. Huh. That's freedom. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but... I want a base. Will you... ever go back to Texas? No fucking way. My daddy was a meth head who beat the shit out of my boyfriend. Just because he wasn't white. Yep. Then my big brother told me he would shoot me if I dated. Dated that, well, you know, my mom didn't say spot as usual. Thanks, mom. So, fuck them all. This is my family now. Damn, I'm sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> ah, don't be. I feel sorry for them. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life?
everything because I didn't appreciate shit when I had it. Like, just waking up at night to get a bowl of fucking squeaky necks cocoa. <laughs> oh my god. I used to eat those too. You always think it's gonna be there. Stupid stuff like that. But things change. Right? Yep. So keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> Yes, I know. Go fill the water tanks. I have one job. What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood, and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. Damn. Trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? How long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money. Nobody. Hitched north, worked on farms, learned how to trim. Had to bail after some tweaker tried to attack me up in Arcata. What? That is awful, Hannah. I almost killed that fuck, but I came back to Humboldt because of Finn. I had this sweet deal with Meryl. It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home, get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up. We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green, but starting to look like shit. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit, especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet too. Sweden is not perfect, but we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Tourists talking shit again, like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world, and then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest? Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. I'm done with these potatoes, but thanks for nothing. Sorry, Hannah. Whatever. You're just like those Swedish tourists. Like those kids who come through here all psyched, and they have to bust ass, and they're gone. Like, I have a fucking choice. What am I supposed to do? 
Maybe you chose this life, but I didn't. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. Well, what do I gotta do to pass initiation? Don't be a pussy. Stand up for us. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I know, just hard to start all over. It's like rewiring my brain. Everything's different. Yes, it is. Been there, long time ago. So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance, prospects. That's way more than I had before. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? Same old story. Fucked up family dysfunction. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse can get me too. I'm glad you're at peace now. So, how did you hook up with the others? The usual way. Just bumming around. Hooked up with Finn first, then Cassidy, then Pennywise. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. Almost done. I actually never helped him with the dishes back in Seattle. But everything's different now. Don't want the crew to get pissed if I don't get their water. How's the dish master? Great. So much fun. How about taking a break to help your big bro move some water barrels? I have to finish my chores, dude. So much fun. All right, then. Man. I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. Oh, I think I will miss it here. Same. But we can't resist the wanderlust. Easy money, Plus, they said. Portland's waiting for us. Yeah, right. Uh, I think I'll take a nap. Me too. I'm exhausted after today. Pennies, I'll bet Daniel could help me carrying these tanks. <sighs> Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. One step at a time, Sean.
I wasn't very focused on the trim today. Guess we'll see you tomorrow. Ah, payday. Let's carry that one to the shower. In a week or two, we'll have enough to buy our way through the border. Those guys sure know how to live outdoors. They taught me so much already. Gotta put that one near the shower. Living large and humbled. Gotta wait for you near the lake, dude. Don't forget me. I won't. See you there. Man, trimming socks. I like Hannah, though. Ooh. Why is that? I don't know. She's honest and tough, like a warrior. <sighs> yeah, maybe too honest sometimes. I thought that was a good thing. Not when she just likes to fuck with people. Well, she's cool to me. Sorry. Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Well, you never bothered to teach me, so I found my own technique. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. Damn. You know. Hey! <laughs> Your face! Come on. I wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. You can lift all those? I know I can.
Whoa, Daniel. That's, uh, that's amazing. Aw, that's not hard. Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the? <laughs> I told you I rule. Pick a rock. Any rock. Okay. And... Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit! That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? That was some next level shit, Daniel. I can do anything now. Hey, don't go crazy. This is still a secret. You didn't tell anyone, did you? No way. Why would I? Not even Finn? No. Jeez, you don't even trust me. Whatever. You better chill the fuck out, Daniel. I mean it. Why are you making a drama out of everything I say? Listen, I think Finn is a bad influence on you. You're just jealous. Yeah, hell no. Why do you say that? Because you always show up. Whenever we hang out, you hate him. Knock it off. I... I do like Finn. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. Can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together, right? I know it sucks, but you have to grow up now. Fuck. Daniel, stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No!
Good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. I love your voice. Meow. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <laughs> <clears throat> hint, hint. John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Um, sure. I'll take a hit. Daniel, no fucking way. How come you can, but I can't? Because I said so. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it, like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Go now. Sleep tight. Jeez. I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and black flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. I had to run for it. We saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. That sucks, Hannah. We lost a dog too, Little Mushroom. It's hard, but shit. That's life. So you gotta walk on. Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, Hans. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory. Fair and square. Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Bust out the violin. Check this out. Uh... Say hello to my little friend, James. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. You seem to get better with him. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust to no one before. We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash, but he disappeared. A few miles north from here, in a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck, and zoom. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Is that how you got your name? Yup. Well, he must mean a lot to you. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true mm. believer. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. Small community. We have this 
amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Right, your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. You probably did the right thing. I hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else... <laughs> Whoa. No. No way, man. I'm too wasted. How about me? You're the man I was waiting for. It's not only one bad memory, but they're all about my friends. I feel like I've let everyone down, like Noah and Lila from Seattle, and our doggy mushroom was killed and taken away by a puma. Then I lost Chris because we had to run away again. He got hit by a car. I don't even know if he's all right. But more than anything, I miss my best friend, my dad. Jesus, little man, that's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you I'd win. You didn't let anybody down. Life did. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on, bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just gotta focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Wanna know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. we just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend. Property. Land. Family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um... Coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. 
time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day too. Night, everyone. Hey, I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? 